Good morning, people. This is Sandra from Source News. I'm back today with some more information regarding that uh, the letter to the American church. And Eric McTaxis is on a, the firepower with Mario Murillo. And I want you to take uh, uh, listen to this because this has a lot more in-depth information than the trailer that I put for you yesterday. Okay, take a listen. Well, we've sat down with the man who is behind this film. He wrote the book, The Letter to the American Church. And it is a profound book that is timely. And he's a very articulate, very intelligent man. His name is Eric Metaxas. He's going to join us today in just a few minutes. So stay tuned. Please share today's broadcast. This is going to be one of our most important shows. And I'm going to bring in my friend Mario Murillo. Uh, Mario, uh, this, this film is, is going all over the place. We were talking about it before we got on tonight. Uh, what do you think of it? Well, I think it's it's on time, maybe a little bit sooner we needed it, but thank God it's here. Uh, I'll tell you that I've never seen an interview where we dug deeper into what needed to be said. You're going to hear some very amazing things. One thing I want to add is this, that uh, many people believe that Barack Obama is the puppet master behind Biden, that he's yeah. actually running the country. Well, the definitive book on Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the Christian Lutheran leader who opposed Hitler, was written by Eric Metaxas. And I have a picture of Obama holding up that book. Uh, he's holding up Eric Metaxas's book, obviously thinking it's a great work. The irony of it is, is that if we're right, and he is the tyrant, that that's an amazing Thing for him to have the very book that is describing what's going on in this moment right now. And so the power of the silence, where the, the one point that Bonhoeffer made is that silence in the face of evil is itself evil. Not to speak is to speak. Not to act is to act and God will not hold us guiltless. And that, that, that resonates right now. That means a lot right now. But again, our interview is not going to end in alarming you, but in arming you. And so I'm really glad that we're doing this, Todd. So important. I mean, I've studied the, the story of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, and one of the things that was the most frustrating, especially seeing uh, what happened after he was sounding the alarm in Nazi Germany was that so many folks did not listen to his urgent message. He ended up giving his life uh, before the allies were able to come in and, and you know, save his country. Uh, but it was too late for him. But he went down in history as a man that had the fortitude, the tenacity to actually say something in the face of evil and to do something in the face of evil. And I know my whole life, Mario, I've always thought how did what happened in Nazi Germany happen? How did it happen that millions of people were slaughtered? And, you know, we've always said never again. We'll never let this happen again. And yet now in 2024, we're seeing, you know, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. We're seeing a lot of the same things that happened in the Maoist communist revolution and what happened in Nazi Germany. And it's amazing. You, you mentioned Barack Hussein Obama, who literally launched his career you know, with Saul Alinsky and the Rules for Radicals and, you know, um, Reverend Wright. Remember Reverend Wright that he hated right. America? You know, I mean, his his own wife, I think she came out and said this is the first time that she was ever proud to be an American. It was when something bad was going on. So, you know, her whole life she wasn't proud to be an American. Yet here she is, the, the you know, the first lady of the country. It, it's astounding what's happened since the Obama era and what we've seen in the moral decline. Obama was always talking about new norms. Well, now a lot of those things that he professed to be new norms are indeed happening. They're happening to our kids. They're being uh, pushed on our kids in curriculum. It's astounding. And so the church has, again, you know, been kind of silent on a lot of these issues. And here's the man, Eric Metaxas, that is sounding the alarm. And I believe that this docufilm is going to get to folks just like what happened with some of the abortion films that came out and started finally waking folks up to what was happening with the children and the abortions. I think this is going to wake some folks up too, uh, Mario. And so this interview is very profound, very timely. 
very educated, very, very, you know, this is a high level conversation that we're about to have. Yeah, I want everyone to notice something uh, in, in the interview is that we identify the deep state, not only in politics, but as it occurs in the evangelical church, evangelical leaders. In fact, Eric Metaxas names them and says, these are the individuals that are telling the church to stay out of politics and to be quiet. And he, he nails it and nails why we need to speak out. So I, I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be a very epic uh, episode of Firepower. That's and right. as That's always, right. at the end, we're going to uh, give the Firepower perspective. That's right. Go. That's right. Stay around. You're going to want to hear the Firepower perspective at the end of this important interview. But right now, we're going to go to the interview with Eric Metaxas. Welcome to this special edition of Firepower. You are going to want to buckle up because we have a great show in store for you tonight. We have an amazing guest who's just come out with a brand new film on Epic TV that you're going to want to watch. He's going to give you the website to that in just a minute. But I want to welcome our friend Eric Metaxas. Eric, welcome to the show. Thank you. Very What an honor to be here. Uh, I love this guy. Yes. What's your name again? Is you. this Mario Marillo? Yes, sir. I love him. And uh, I would just doing anything with you is, is a blessing. So thanks for having me. I always know when they're from New York because they call me Mary. That's right. Which is the right way to say it, by the way. So, Eric, thank you so much. What an amazing moment we're living in. Yes, we're, yes, we are. And the movie, the film that's being made, it's made connected to your. It's yeah. already out. Yeah, I mean, I wrote a book called Letter to the American Church. I've never written a book aimed at the church. Every book I write is aimed at everybody. Now, mostly people in the church will buy it, but. I write everything I write hoping to reach beyond the church. This book, first time I felt like the Lord has given me a message yes. for the church. That's why it's called Letter to the American Church. And so uh, I wrote it about a, you know almost two years ago now that it was finished. And I started speaking about it in churches all around the country. And okay. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I want encourage you to go on the uh, YouTube and watch this, watch his speech, um, read his book, and uh, decide: is he right? Is our church too weak? Is it too wimpy? Is it not speaking up? Is it not getting involved? Yes, it's doing good things, but there, we need to do more because the enemy is going to win if the church doesn't rise up and unite. It's so important for the church to wake up and rise up. Okay, so go ahead and finish watching this one at your at your uh, convenience. And then the book is Letter to the American People. And there is a movie out you can watch to get the full impact of what this man is talking about. Okay, have a blessed uh, day. And I'll be back again with some more information. God bless.